Mutta. What is up everybody? My name is Snooze and today we're back with some more Death Stranding. We are currently in the distribution center uh, south of Lake Knot and we have a few deliveries to take care of. It's to the craftsman. It's to the engineer, I believe. And South Knot City. So for now, well, we're going to stick with the Craftsman and the Engineer. I got myself this truck here. And it's pretty gosh darn amazing at carrying shit. Uh, like a truck would be. I haven't uploaded in uh, quite a while, it feels like. Uh, this is because of... Uh, right now, I'm getting quite a far into the story. And I really, really, really... Do not want to spoil any missions or stuff like that when it comes to the story. I am fine with playing the game and showing you the world, but I really do not want to show you. I barely do any orders for Sam when I when I record. There's it's happened maybe one or two times, and it's it's going to happen today again. But I'm I'm trying my absolute hardest not to spoil any story or cutscenes. <laughs> Now, there, it's impossible for me to record this uh, at the level that I am right now without spoiling a certain few things, like the truck here, for example. Uh, yes, at some point you do get, get your hands on a truck. As you can see in front of me here, somebody has parked his truck just in front of me, and uh, uh, I can't avoid showing these things off to you. There's also been some more customization going on, as you can probably most likely see on my backpack. Yes, you are able at some point to upgrade your backpack uh, with certain things, which is just absolutely amazing if you ask me. I love the fact that you can uh, do stuff with your backpack. It's definitely one of the things that I wanted to do from the very beginning. We're just going to skip all this. I just want the lights, and I want to see my evaluation immediately. Right off the fucking bat, mate. I want my evaluation, all right? I'm sorry I keep doing that. I, I, I don't have an Australian or a British accent, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just making sounds in a with my tongue, and that turns into somewhat of a wannabe accent. We've delivered quite the amount of cargo. It's been 11,000. That would be... Uh, 11.5 tons so we have made some progress since we last played this is what I love the most about this guy now he's given us two custom hematic grenades um, as this is something that could contain spoilers and at this moment it is there are grenade pouches you can place on your backpack here you can see them lighting in blue and I have, I'm always carrying three custom hematic grenades. I have realized at this moment that they are absolutely fucking amazing. Uh, I recommend anyone playing this game to always carry at least one custom hematic grenade in case you need to use it against BTs. They are extraordinarily good. Uh, way better than the hematic grenades level one. Uh, so I carry three with them, three of those with me, as well as. A remote stun bomb. This is an immediate knockout on any... It will break down any car and it will knock out anybody who's hit with them. As well as a smoke grenade in case they get too close and I need to make my exit. So these are these are my tips for today. Unless there's something else coming up in just a minute. Uh, we're also going to get over to the engineer. Just to uh, make sure that we have uh, ourselves some fun with him. I do apologize if you can hear me sniffing and snoring here in the background at some point. Uh, I'm one of the idiots in the world who, who smokes cigarettes. And uh, I also have uh, just woken up. So a combination of that is mainly a complete pain in the ass. But, you know, it's, it's <laughs> my own goddamn fault. So, you know, I can't complain. Anyways, since we are... Going to the engineer, I'm going to pick up these two 
orders as well. Now, this is definitely... I've noticed that if you are at the top level with a certain t person, and then you decide to make premium deliveries that you've already completed, or have not, I'm not really sure about this. If you unlock customization parts and such with... Uh, after after completing a certain amount of, of premium deliveries or if it's like you get to a certain like value with the people you're helping out and uh, they will give you some more customization parts I'm not really sure about this uh, if you are watching this and you know which which fact it is then please do then please do give me a comment telling me what it's what it's all about. So yeah, I haven't been recording for quite a while, and uh, a few days here here now, and uh, I miss it. I definitely feel like I should complain about it, and uh, try and record a little bit more often. Uh, as you can see, I also have a new intro, in courtesy of uh, Jimmel Jam here on YouTube. Yes, I just made a name drop. He's my, he's my real life friend, my best bro, uh, so you know give him a subscription or a comment or anything you know he uh he and he seems to enjoy making thumbnails and uh intros at least when i order him to so you know it's uh he'd probably appreciate a subscription most likely so go check his channel out jimmel jam it will be in the description as well He's making, uh, he's got a few videos. He's currently focusing on streaming. And so uh, you'll find him on Twitch, same name. Uh, and the videos that you'll find are mainly from his Twitch account. Nothing, nothing. One of these is not some, some is a uh, delivery I haven't completed yet. But we got nothing off of that. So we got one level though, which is great. So for now, I'm going to cut it here, and I will be back when I decide what to do next. And here we are, back with uh, no no cargo this time around. But what we are going to do is we're going to turn this car around. And this is where we're actually going to take an order for Sam. Right after I deliver a little bit of cargo... That some guy had lost along the way. Now, in order for Sam is to get a hold, get a hold of these. Oh, okay, I'm gonna stop that. I need to stop it. I cannot keep doing this. One of the orders is to get a retrieval mission for sticky guns. Now, it requires us to go to a mule camp that is literally just next to us, and actually deliver that cargo all the way to. Lake Knot City, so that's what we're going to be doing this time around. I figured, you know, we might as well go ahead and do it as we're very close. And now that we are at the, what do you call it? We are at the Lake uh, Distribution Center south of Lake Knot City. So I'm actually going to be going ahead and making myself a trike bike. Uh, I don't know why I turned around the car. Since I'm not going to be using it. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? Gun is a weapon that launches an adhesive projectile. Now that does sound pretty good. Honestly, I, I need to be honest about that. We do have the Bola gun. But it does say that it's a non-lethal anti-personnel weapon. So we could give it a go. And see if there's anything we can do about it against the mules. So... I will be giving this a shot, to be honest, and I'll place the bullet gun in our private locker, as well as the cargo for South Knot City. We do have remote stun bombs, smoke grenades, and now the sticky gun. This will be the final thing I do this video. Like I always say, I hope you've enjoyed so far. Any comments or likes would be very much appreciated. I... Definitely would appreciate comments a little bit more because I'd like to know what you think about the whole series, what you think about what you're seeing, basically. And so, I very much would appreciate any type of comment. 
way more than oh my god way more than a like appreciate obviously i'd appreciate both both items in the list there but you probably know what i'm talking about let's start off by neutralizing everyone in this camp this might just go south like uh extremely south because there's a lot of guys and we have nothing but a sticky gun i'm not i've never tried this i've never tried this to keep gun before so i am not sure if this will be absolutely horrendous or if it's actually gonna work out so let's sneak up on the guy to our left there because there's like six guys to uh to our right that looks more like five so let's sneak up on this guy and see if we can actually make do of the sticky gun with neutralizing human beings. It is non-lethal, and it shouldn't be specified that it's non-lethal unless it's actually going to give you some sort of uh, choice of bringing down people as well. Let's see what we can do about this. Oh my god. Okay, this is not a good idea. Because it's automatically targeting the fucking cargo, man. We're not able to use the gun whatsoever. Oh my god. Okay, this is not good. Retreat! Retreat! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is not okay. They broke my fucking <laughs> bike, man. Oh no! Run away, little man! Run away! I'm going for the bullet gun. This is insane. That was nothing I could do about that. Holy shit! Okay, I think they got off our backs. I'll be back when I have the bullet gun and give this another go. And we're back! I just got tagged with uh, one of their sonar thingies so there's five guys i believe right here four guys that's one bullet gone oh man they actually have weapons too So far, so good. Unfortunately, they have uh, managed to get a hold of, um, what do you call them? Machine guns. So they're actually shooting at us. Got four more guys, three more guys coming in here. Not anymore. All right, so we got a bunch of equipment here to deliver for other people eventually. For now, though, let's just get out of here, out of their firing zone. Oh, spear. Oh, we got it. Nice. Very nice. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, my God. They are shooting us pretty badly here. I definitely don't mind bringing some special alloys, uh, as that's a kind of a rare... Alright, I don't know what I'm talking about, but for now... What we're doing is we're bringing out the stun smoke grenade, actually. Okay, that was a good throw, so let's make another one exactly like it with the stun bomb. And there you have it, it's an instant knockout. Apparently it's not anymore.
There we go. Now let's see if we can make him suffer the way his friend just did. There we go. Final guy on the way here. And we got it. We got the camp done. Done and over with here. Amazing. I'm done. Right, so I'm just gonna collect these two final pieces of cargo. I did also notice that the guys, the mules, had a power skeleton level 3 in the camp. So we're actually gonna equip this. So that we're able to carry all this back to our bike. And then eventually we're, uh... We should be fine. But for now, let's put on this power skeleton. Unfortunately, we're going to lose some of the stuff we had on our backs. But because of this, we should be able to place it, no problem, on our backs and carry them with no problem. So now we have the final piece as well as some more special alloys. Very nice. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the stuff like I always do over there so that people are able to deliver or keep it for themselves oh we got chemicals here that I'm bringing along for sure now that we actually have the power skeleton then we may as well all right we're getting close to our limit so that will be it for this cargo carrying run um, let's just grab it and place it on the ground again. As well as these two. PCC, might as well. Ceramics. Amazing. Very good. Now, back on the bike. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place some of the sticky guns as a cargo for the bike. Let's place number one, two, three, and four. Possibly five and six. Yeah, we could actually. Very nice. And there we go. Amazing. Our bike is definitely not going to run as smoothly as it usually does. As you can pretty much tell immediately, it is heavy. But you have a boost still, so it's fine. Oh my goodness! Now it's off to Lake Knot City for that delivery. We're also going to deliver some of the lost lost cargo. I just read what, what was on the ground there. Uh, special alloys that we do have with us. Special alloys is something that I've noticed is pretty scarce. It's a scarce resource and definitely... The chemicals. Chemicals and, and special alloys are definitely stuff you want to st stack up on, stock up on. So bear that in mind. I would definitely, if you want to take one one thing out of that sentence, I definitely recommend stacking up on uh, is it chemicals. Because chemicals, I've never really been able to recycle anything that gives me chemicals to uh, to any station. So chemicals is definitely one of the more scarcer resources out there. We made it! We made it to Lake Knot City. Let's see what type of rewards we can get for this delivery. I was going to see if we can donate the power skeleton that we have, unless there's any damage to it. I tend not to deliver anything with damage. So let's see if we get anything from this. There's a lot of likes. We are obviously the sticky gun. Waiting 10 years. It's a good song, I think. <laughs> uh, we did some deliveries here to somewhere. To South Knot City and to the Craftsman. No levels. Good work. Awesome. Okay, and now we can actually... Uh, let's go ahead and check the share locker first. See what type of damage the power skeleton has. 1%. I'm actually going to deliver that to people. Just in case. Oh, sorry. And to make you up for it, I'm going to deliver two special alloys as well. 
Recycle. Alloy. Alloy, alloy, chemicals. As you can see down here, there's quite a lot of alloys you can have. You can have... Uh, well, this is a, a, uh, a three-star... I got three stars with them, and you can have almost 9,000 special alloys. I have 5.5, so you can definitely carry a lot of it. I recommend just bringing as much of the special alloy as you possibly can at any given time. Thank you for your contribution. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This is it for this episode. I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.